Alyssa Bates Webster, as seen on Bringing Up Bates, has rumors of strife swirling through the interwebs. In her recent birthday post on Instagram, Webster included, This year different life circumstances and shifts in relationships just made me want to skip over today. Fans immediately noticed the cryptic message and began to worry for Alyssa. Marriage to John Webster Alyssa Bates Webster and John Webster married on May 24, 2014. They have five children together, Ali, 8, Lexi, 6, Zoe, 5, Massey, 2, and their first son, Rhett, 7 months. Throughout the entirety of their marriage, Bates has been a stay-at-home mom. Though for a short stint, she did assist her husband in his commercial cleaning business. As a result of some health problems, she had to stop in 2019. As a stay-at-home mom, Alyssa spends her time caring for the children and homeschooling the oldest four. John works in the heating and air conditioning industry in his family's business. As you can imagine, a post discussing any shifts in relationships will have people automatically thinking, oh, it's got to be her husband, especially in light of some recent comments he has made that directly affect Bates. A few have commented that they feel that since he now has a son, he is less involved with Alyssa and their daughters. However, it is worth noting that he is featured in the post's image, which some fans feel is enough to count him out as being the subject of her vagueness. Sibling strife Being one of 19 children, it's inevitable that there will be some bickering and fighting from time to time. In light of her obscure post, followers are considering all possibilities. The majority of the Bates family is fairly active on social media, so it's pretty safe to assume that they would comment or post for family birthdays. In most cases, this seems to be true for their large family. Kelly Jo Bates, in particular, is amazing at keeping up with all of her children's and grandchildren's birthdays and doing lovely posts for each. You can view her post for Alyssa's birthday here. A few sisters in particular are suspected to have drifted away from Alyssa in terms of their closeness. Some followers suggested that Katie and Alyssa are not on speaking terms. However, one was quick to note that Katie did post a happy birthday in her stories, commented on Alyssa's post, and sent a gift to her door. There was a bit of speculation that Carlin may have been the subject of Webster's ambiguity, but she was apparently the first in the family to post in honor of her big sister's birthday. She also commented, We love you so much, happy birthday, sis, on the post in question. Though this particular Reddit thread made no mention of the current status of her relationship with her brother Lawson, it's worth noting that she didn't even attend his wedding. Also of note is a lack of Josie Bates Balka's presence on Alyssa's page. There have been months of assumptions that Josie is on bad terms with a lot of her sisters. It seems to be painfully obvious given she didn't like or comment on her sister's birthday post, nor make a post of her own. Other possibilities. Although details are hard to come by, there is a bit of speculation that the post may be in reference to in-laws or even friends. The Websters do share a large portion of their lives on social media. However, they have said that they do have new friends that they have chosen not to share on any of their platforms. As far as in-laws go, those relationships can certainly be complicated, and it isn't expected that she would share details if the post is in reference to John's family. Who do you think Alyssa was referencing in her post? Do you think there is something to any of the claims that it is related to her siblings or John? Drop a comment and let Bates us know star John Webster has stirred up quite a storm with his latest comments. John is the husband of Alyssa Bates. The couple have been married for nine years now and have five children, Ali, eight, Lexi, six, Zoe, five, Matsi, two, and Rhett, seven months. Alyssa and John family updates. Due to the cancellation of bringing up Bates, Many of the adult Bates children have taken to sharing their lives on YouTube. Alyssa and John were among the first to start sharing their content. They love sharing what the family is up to, kids' milestones, vacations, and more. Recent to you and a video. 
In their most recent video, the Websters made it a point to answer some questions that they have never addressed before. Innocently enough, they talked about each other's love languages, how they spend their downtime, and even how much sleep they prefer to get. However, a few of John's responses have caused an uproar on Reddit. For the purpose of their two and a specific videos, Bates will post to her Instagram stories so that followers can let her know what their biggest questions are. The most popular questions are typically centered around pregnancy and babies. With lots of varying views on the right way to expand a family or when to stop, these answers always garnish some fiery responses. However, this go-around, John's honesty and transparency have shown a negative light on him. John is a jerk and a cheapskate. In the public eye, not many seem to have a problem with the reality star Webster. However, on Reddit, he has a very different reputation. Comments on this recent thread seem to be in agreement that he is not what he has been portrayed to be on the family show. During their most recent video, an Instagram follower asked Alyssa what her dream mom SUV would be. Bates Webster replied, any SUV other than the one I have. John seems to be very defensive and immediately says, listen, that's a great car. Alyssa admits, I love my car, but it is very old and it is falling apart. Like badly, it is falling apart. Why won't John buy her a new vehicle? Because the kids need to learn how to take care of it and respect it. Just like the couch upstairs. Redditors agree that in this video, John came across as a jerk and a cheapskate. One comment read, I can understand the couch, but not the car thing. His wife and children need to be in a safe and reliable car. What if theirs is an emergency and they can't get to where they need to go, or what if it breaks down in a non-safe situation? Another stated, I honestly don't like him at all. He thinks this is a parenting flex that he'll let his kids ride around in something falling apart because they can't respect it. What did asterisk asterisk Che Canu? What are your thoughts? Do you feel that John is being unreasonable? Should he go ahead and buy Alyssa a new vehicle that isn't falling apart or follow through on waiting until the kids can respect the car? Lawson Bates, second oldest of the Bates crew of Bringing Up Bates, is seen showing support for his wife Tiffany as Spencer Bates on an emotional post about adopting. While Lawson's family did not adopt any of their 19 children, Tiffany herself was adopted. She grew up with one other sibling, a drastic difference from Lawson's childhood. Keep reading for more details. Family plans for the couple. Lawson and Tiffany married in May of 2022. Fans have since been eagerly awaiting a pregnancy announcement. In the Bates family, it is not uncommon for that announcement to come within the first year of pregnancy. However, no such news from the Espence and Bates couple just yet. Earlier this year, the Bates did address some of the most common questions that they have received on the topic. In a video shared to their shared YouTube channel, Lawson stated that they weren't sure when their family would expand, but that they would both love to have kids. Tiffany jokingly added that they want 100 kids and are open to whatever the Lord wants. Though she did not go into detail, Espence and Bates did state that she was not on any form of birth control at the time of recording. Tiffany's Adoption As followers of the pair know, Tiffany is very vocal about being adopted as a toddler. She expresses her thanks to her adoptive parents regularly. Every year, the family celebrates her Gotcha Day, which is the day that they welcomed Tiffany home to join their family. On one particular Gotcha Day, Tiffany shared, I always call it my second greatest blessing getting adopted to these parents and getting the opportunity to live in America. My first is receiving Christ as my Savior. Because of the fact that Tiffany was adopted, fans have wondered if maybe this is the path that she will choose to take with Lawson. Consequently, these assumptions are compounded by the couple's lack of pregnancy announcement. Lawson shows support. November is National Adoption Month. According to the Children's Bureau, they seek to increase national awareness of adoption issues, 
bring attention to the need for adoptive families for teens in the U.S. foster care system, and emphasize the value of youth engagement. During this month, many adoptees and their adoptive families take time out to speak on their stories so that others can see the beauty in adoption in an effort to encourage others to adopt. Tiffany took the opportunity to put together a touching slideshow full of family memories. The clips start with her day of adoption and go through her life progressively. She sends the video the song, Counting Every Blessing by the Rend Collective. The caption was full of very raw feelings that she has on the topic. Lawson quickly showed support for his wife. He commented, this is the sweetest and most heartwarming post, love, along with the praying hands emoji. Meanwhile, at the end of the post, Tiffany threw in, thank you to my loving husband for having the same heart for adoption too. Do you think this is a hint? Will Tiffany and Lawson be adopting soon? Drop a comment with your thoughts.